Greetings fellow warriors and welcome back to another Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord video. Today we're doing something a little bit different by taking an in-depth look at only one mod this time, which by the way looks very promising, other than the usual mod lists I do, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Have you ever wanted to get some of that Skyrim feeling in Bannerlord? Or you know, being an actual part of the game world? Then look no further. Life in Caradia does just that. In short, the mod lets you buy houses, live in them with the clan members, upgrade their interiors and, if you want, rent them out, as well as cooking and farming. Now that might be a lot at once, so let me break it down for you in a showcase manner and how I experienced this mod. First up, since this one is pretty much still fresh out of the oven, as of now only Empire Towns and some villages have houses for sale, so keep that in mind. When starting the game for the first time with the mod installed, you have to wait at least one day before houses become available. A message will be displayed to notify you. You can buy houses by talking to notables or walking around the city or village, all while holding down the Alt key and looking for house symbols with the tag for sale. The cost depends on the owner's influence, relationship with the player, size and the prosperity rating. You can also add companions to your houses. Simply talk to them or interact with the banner inside your home and wait 3 days. But that's not the only new feature for your most trusted companions. You'll also have the ability to give them gifts, which will either in or decrease your relationship with them, depending on your companion's taste. Pay close attention to their reaction to find out what they prefer. After a certain amount of relationship points, you can ask them to teach you a skill or offering to teach them a skill, so there actually is some benefit to keep your relations with companions high. How neat! Managing your companion's gear will also in or decrease your relationship with them. Stripping them naked will now have consequences and you lose some relationship points, but giving them good and expensive gear will increase your relationship with them. You can also rent houses to your companions. They will give you a certain amount of dinars to stay there each day. You can see how much you gain from it by either remembering what they said in the text box or just hover over the gold icon on the campaign map, just like with workshops. Now one of my favorite parts of this mod is the ability to buy taverns too. Yes, you can now buy whole taverns and collect its rent. All the houses and taverns can be upgraded, with each level unlocking different furniture and decorations, up to 3 levels in total. Cooking is also a thing in this mod. New items have been added to give a little bit more depth to recipes, which can be found in the market. When at home, interact with the cooking pot to access the list of recipes. Choose one or more and after a short period of time, they will be added to your inventory. Companions staying at your home will also have the ability to craft different food if he's cooking and the necessary ingredients are available in the house chest. You might wonder, how is my companion going to cook then? Well, now let me tell you. They have in-house routines according to the time of day, preferences and skills. They sleep at night, cook in the morning, study or talk during the day, or suck co- <coughs> And with cooking comes another gameplay feature. Role playing as a vile beggar until harvesting season. Only village houses will have the option, which makes sense in my opinion. All you need to start farming is a simple pitchfork and seeds, which can be acquired in the town's market. Then go to your plot of land at your house and just go ham on the dirt. Afterwards you should see a small dirt hill where you can plant any seed you acquired beforehand. Right now, you can plant apple trees, cabbages, carrots, garlic, leeks and pumpkins, but I'm sure that the author will add more to it in the future. Some of the future plans for this mod are the balancing of different prices, more interior scenes and if you know how to use the scene tool in the modding tools, be sure to hit that guy up since he needs some help creating a lot more interiors for a more diverse experience. Tavern management, an extended crafting and farming system, and main character babies in relation to relationship and skill learning are also planned for the future. All in all, if you're a role-playing person or just want to be immersed more into the game, this mod is definitely for you. Even if you don't want to cook, farm, own houses, buying taverns, renting houses and the enhanced relationship system with your companions is definitely worth it. It just adds a lot more depth to them and I'm eager to see what the author will do in the future. Tell me down in the comment section below, have you tried this mod and if yes, how did you like it? 
Anyway, if you enjoyed this small video, feel free to hit that like button, it would help out tremendously. And if you want to see more stuff from me, the subscribe button is right there. Don't forget about the giveaway that I'm currently hosting. Check out this video for more information regarding that. But other than this, I see you all in my next video. Become a member today, warriors, and bye. A huge shout out to Clinky Man, Ed Kiner, Max M, and Chains for supporting the channel.